Power is purely mischievous, whatsoever of it is not needful, but factitious honor is in the whole of it, purely mischievous. As at the expense of the whole of the community, is all power created and conferred, so at the expense of the whole, is all factitious honor created and conferred. Of operative power, the immediate effect is not only obsequiousness, but obedience on the part of him on whom it is exercised. Of factitious honor, an effect is, not obedience indeed, but obsequiousness on the part of those at whose expense it is created and conferred. In so far as it is productive of this effect, it is by producing in the minds of those at whose expense it is created, the opinion of the existence of superiority in respect of moral and intellectual endowments, of power and opulence, separately or collectively, on the part of him on whom it is conferred. In so far as it is productive of obsequiousness, though without actual obedience, it does not indeed confer power on the individual on whom it is conferred, but in his favor, it produces the effect of power of his conformity as towards his will. At the same time it creates and confers power, and in much greater quantity in favor of him by whom it is itself created and conferred, say, in favor of the patron of the dignity. Now watch me dance.